time for you who went friends. Once upon a time, there were five executives who destroyed the earth for money. Mother Nature got mad, said, Father Time, hey, Dad, you better stop them or you're sleeping on the couch, honey. So Father Time sent those five into fluffy, cuddly, sweetie pies to places they plunder gemstones they must recover. For boy, so round the globe they go, otherwise, we have no show. I'm Lenny, I'm Rudy, I'm Penny, I'm Seamus, boy, it's time for the show. Father Time. Don't you love Chinese parades? This one's particularly special because it's to celebrate the year of the ogre. Mm. And I'm an ogre. <laughs> yeah, right, pal. There's no such thing as a real ogre. But no, really. Look at me. Blue skin, inhuman face, a voice only good for singing rap music that all spells ogre, baby. Ogre. Cool. Hey, everyone, we can finally perform the ogre ceremony. I like the sound of that. Bring out the ogre robe, the ogre crown. I'd really <laughs> like the sound of that. And dunk tank. Dunk tank? What's going on? The ogre ceremony, where we dunk an ogre and laugh at him so that we may have a prosperous new year. <laughs> Pants. While you're here having fun, those Yoohoo's still haven't taken care of that panda problem in China, remember? Oops! I'm on it, sugar cane nose! Father Time! What's up? Yo, guys! You remember Nasty Corp's Chinese restaurant, Nasty Noodle? You guys specialized in Nasty Kung Pao Chicken. Problem was, you never used any chicken. Hey, this isn't chicken. You tried to catch chickens by hanging up sticky chicken strips. But you didn't realize chickens don't fly. However, you did catch Chinese fireworks on those sticky strips. So you sold them as food instead. One nasty Kung Pao chicken surprise, please. My kids. So you left the sticky strips hanging up over the forest. And then, last episode, when you released the pandas that you had captured, you accidentally dumped them onto the sticky chicken strips. Well, this isn't any better than being stuck in a giant salt shaker. My life sucks. Get those pandas down from there so they can live in their bamboo forest once again. You got it. Ah, uh, forget this. Ah, oh, he's gone. Guess he didn't want the ceremonial box of ogre treasure. A love nut? Chi Wu left me a love nut. I love you, Chi Wu. <laughs> ah, Chi Wu. Someday you and I will finally meet. I feel a thought bubble coming. Ring, ring. I'm so glad you got the love nut I left you. Let's get married and open a barber shop where we'll give haircuts to turtles. Here, I'll kiss your eyeball. She shares my dream. Ah, <sighs> love nut. Never leave me. Where are you going? I told you not to leave me. Come back this... I don't mind being lost. I mind being lost with you two! Hey, someone dropped a love nut. They're tasty. No! Please eat my love nut! Ah! The love nut we find! Ah! <sighs> it's that angry panda again. Quick, to the airplane! Airplane? It was wishful thinking! Just drop it! I can't let Chi Wu know that I lost the gift she gave me. She'd hate me. And then our shared thought bubble dream will never come true. You expect me to open up a turtle barbershop with you now? Ah! Ah! 
<laughs> no! The turtles must not suffer because of my mistake! And they won't. I'll talk to her face to face, and not in a thought bubble this time. You will love me, Chi-Woo! You will love me! <laughs> Just put this here and that there and... And it's done! A pinecone air freshener. Ah, it smells just like new car. And from what I know of squirrels, they love the smell of new car. <laughs> Slide! Ha! Okay, this is it, Mr. Pinecone Air Freshener. When Chi Wu gets a whiff of you, she'll faint from your awesomeness and love me forever. Okay, calm down, it's simple. Just put it right in her hands, then say something smart and witty. Hey, you're the panda I met in the last episode. For you, I made. Marry me. You want to marry me? Huh? Um, this is so sudden. Wedding, wedding. Ah! What is wrong with me? Wedding, wedding. Well, this is awkward. I don't even know him, and he gives me this new car-scented pine cone. I prefer Mountain Fresh Spring. And he wants to marry you, too. I hope he's rich. What? Well, either you keep it and get married, or toss it and stay a lonely bachelor. So I was wrong about a new car air freshener? I knew it should have been Mountain Fresh Spring instead. Once again, I blew it. I should go back to internet dating. But that's expensive. But what do I do to prove my love for her? I'm out of ideas. Unless I make her another gift. And this time, I won't ask that other guy to marry me. Not bad at all. Now, to give it the poke your eye out test. Yow! Perfect! My eye didn't poke out. Beautiful! Hey, it looks like a heart. I was trying to make it an angel sprinkling love dust on a lifeboat full of sailors lost at sea. But this'll do, too. Ah, <sighs> Chiwu, I made you this bamboo heart. Please accept it. Why, this is just beautiful. I absolutely love it. And it won't even poke your eye out. Try to do it. You'll be surprised that your eye will only sting for a few moments, yet remain in its socket. Now to give her this in the most romantic way. By surprising her, shoving it in her face, and screaming at the top of my lungs. Guys, I'm back from the party. <laughs> Guys? Well, that's unattractive, but it won't stop me. Huh? Hello. Nice weather we're having. Do you like movies? <laughs> Me neither. I, I like your hat. My name's Ring Ring. Hi, Ring Ring. I'm Chi Wu. Oh, I, I know your name. Want to hear a joke? Okay, it goes like this. So a panda and a zebra are in an elevator, and the zebra says to the duck, there's also a duck in the elevator, he says, excuse me, can you hit the button for the fifth floor? And the duck looks at the panda and says, I don't understand zebra language. And the panda says, I'll translate for you. He said, quack, quack, quack. And the duck says, I'm only kidding, I understand what he said, but what you said was just plain dumb. And so the panda says... Hey, you're the guy that asked Woody to marry him. That really freaked him out, but maybe once he gets to know you, he'll change his mind. Ah, no, no, no! Don't call him over. I don't want him. I want to marry you, Chi Wu. Say what? It's true. I made you this. You made that for me? Just for you. Well, what do I do with it? Ah, uh, well, I hadn't really thought of that. I guess it is useless. Ah! Okay. Enough beating around the bush. I want to say something to you, Chi Wu. And that is. That is. I love you, Bling Bling! I love you! I love you, Bling Bling! Who's Bling Bling? Is she your girlfriend? Well, she was. Ring Ring has a girlfriend! Ring Ring has a girlfriend! Then why give me gifts? Is it because I'm cuter than her? No. I was just replacing her with you. She disappeared with all the other pandas. Forget it! Well, that's why I'm here. To bring back all the pandas. Really? You'll bring back Bling Bling? Thought Bubble Time! My girlfriend's coming back! Then forget you! I'll have my Bling Bling again! <laughs> hey, where'd you guys go? I came out of the bathroom and you left! <laughs> Sorry, but Rudy really wanted to make his next invention. Um, that's just like the last invention from the previous episode. True. But this one has a CD player. 
Guess I should have just reused the last invention. Oh well. No! Ah, no! No! Ah. Uh, can't you guys do anything that doesn't involve severe pain on our part? Ah. What up, everyone? You saved the Panthers. And look, Ring Ring gets his girlfriend back. Bling bling! You're back! I missed you so much! I told you like a million times. I don't like you! Aw, it's okay. I'll still go out with you. Hey, what the I don't know who you are, but I love you! Really? I love me too! Wanna hear a joke? So, a panda and a zebra in an elevator. And... <laughs> That's hilarious! Tell it again! Um, okay. So, a panda and a zebra are in an elevator. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. You know, with Pammy, the elevator never does get to the top floor. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> Pammy has an elevator? <laughs> <laughs>